Best regards, my dear viewers. Today, we have prepared for you a documentary about the beautiful creatures that inhabit the Polytechnic. To begin with, there's an ecosystem full of depressed creatures that, however, smile. It's a place of high temperatures and low grades. But it is also said that species that have arrived did so with the purpose of testing the fruits of the future. The inspiring place I am talking about is an interdisciplinary professional unit in engineering and advanced technologies. To know a little more about these appealing creatures, it's necessary to approach their natural environment. Walking down the central corridor and turning left, we can reach that place, the library. In this small borough, it's possible to observe engineer prospects in gestation process. It's appropriate to mention that there's the possibility that some of these specimens spend more time here than at home. What a beautiful creature. Technically speaking, Polytechnics are living beings, and living beings have to feed themselves. For this, there's a well-haired feeder near to the entrance to the environment. This is a place where they can eat, socialize, and satisfy their psychophysiological needs of living beings. This is the National School of Biological Sciences, ENCB for its acronym in Spanish. This is the natural environment for biochemistry engineers, biologists, industrial pharmaceutical chemists, and environmental system engineering. As you can see, this is a great environment, with a wide open space, a lot of green areas where to go to, a simple and not that tasty food court, and a playground, where different species of polytechnics here can recreate themselves and spend pleasant moments. The school is well known for its perpetual winter in its mornings and nights, while in the afternoon the heat is unbearable. By the other hand, the beauty of its landscapes has no comparison, especially during the afternoon, where the sky turns into different colors. There are many activities and worries that distress these poor polytechnics, like exams or projects for example. That's why the academic administration decided to give these polytechnics a day off, a day when they can enjoy life, eat food, and play as if they were kids again. This day is known for everyone in the school and all of the species wait for it. La Kermes de Bienvenida. In a normal day, a polytechnic have time to think in the complexity, in the riddles of life and how to become more productive and competitive in the face of challenges in the modern outside world. All this without neglecting the sports and physical activities, which are also very important in a polytechnic life. Another important fact about the polytechnic's formation is to know how to get into the action, how to act when they get into the field. That's why, as part of its academic plan, Polytechnics travel to different areas to learn about their context, but most important, to apply what they have learned in the classroom in real life. We're on the top of the waterfall in the basement one. And as you can see, please, please. Okay. The water is brown. I don't want to know what's there, but <laughs> it's brown. Okay. Here begins the borderline among the wild and the civilization. Going through these doors, the madness takes place. The animals of this reserve have different schedules. 
for example the time to eat to sniff each other and to learn how to take care of the hair in this reserve coexist four different species construction technicians industrial processes technicians electrical control system technicians and finally digital system technicians as you can see each of the species behave according to the area for example those of digital systems are fed with anime their hair lacks of females however the industrial processes technicians eat marucha and most of the time they don't assist to their hunting classes then are electrical control system technicians which are a peculiar combination of each of the species you can find there a bit of all the species finally the construction technicians which are the most exotic species the beauties of the school but this is just the top there are lots of reserves like this but let's see what happened with the alders Welcome to Osimi, a school of mechanical and electrical engineering. This is one of the open schools where young people can study when they read. The degrees that this school offers are automotive systems engineering, control automation engineering, electrical engineering, and best one, communications and electronic engineering. This campus was one of the first schools that was built at Sagatengu area and one of the most representative schools in the IPN's history. There are many activities that students can do for their more taking classes. They can practice a sport or learn how to dance different light marines. It is important to mention that students of Siemens Sagatengu has participated in different international competitions about robotic or how to develop a type of Formula 1 car. One of the most important participations were students that developed a robot for NASA. So, this is a great school and very good option to study some engineering. There is a great environment of this school where students always try to get class of time or enjoy some meal before a class or take some time to share with friends or maybe just share love. There are different restaurants where students can have a meal. They are famous because their food are so delicious, but if they don't want it in one of them, they can resort to the hammered guy. This school has frequent areas where students are allowed to sleep? Yes, they feel through Mexico's sleep at school. Maybe they are waiting for a class and get into a classroom in a building where there is a, a dog. What is a dog doing here? Is it the official pet of the school? Apparently this is a mystery. <laughs> 